Hi, moms and dads. We have got some great treats to keep your little ghosts and goblins happy this Halloween. Joining us is Sharon Bowers, author of Ghoulish Goodies, a recipe book with some of the cutest Halloween food ideas. So nice to meet you. You too. I love your book. Some of the cutest recipes in there, but not all sweet treats. Some savory as well. I know that everybody for Halloween, you get so much candy that I wanted to have some savory stuff because for parties, you just don't want an unending table of candy and goodies. So one of the things that I love are these googly eyeballs made with... Hysterical. I love that. <laughs> They're just in the food processor. Cheddar, butter, flour, roll them into little balls, stick in your green olives and put them in the oven and they're great for kids and grown-ups like them Easy as and well. cute and a great appetizer. Definitely. Okay, let's move on to the ice cream cake. That is hysterical. <laughs> this was <laughs> one of my favorite things out of the whole book, but it's simply a 9 by 13 cake and all you do is just cut it into this shape. It looks like a million bucks. This one got a little bumped up, but you can make it and make it look like a bakery cake. And what I like to do is make a slice down the middle, fill it with vanilla ice cream. And then all you do, it's it's that iconic face that everyone recognizes, but you just pipe it on there with some dark frosting and Not you're done. Not hard at all. Very cute. Okay, moving on. These cupcakes, I want to dig in right over here. The cupcakes are one of my proud moments too because they're so easy. You can bake cupcakes and make cookies and put little you know, RIP or anything you like. You can put guests' names if you want to use them for place settings at a party. But you can also just buy cupcakes. You can buy little cookies. You see that we have here recognizable yeah. shapes. Yes, they are. Um, and then the crowning touch is Oreo cookie dirt. Any chocolate sandwich cookie, you grind it up, roll it in a plastic bag, Instant and it dirt. makes fabulous dark black dirt. What I love about your recipes is that they're so easy. Well, I have two kids. Moms are busy, but I don't want to like spend all my time loading kids in the minivan, going to the big box store, and no. buying Halloween decorations. I'd rather do something at do home with them in the kitchen. Exactly. And these spiders just show how easy it can be. And these, again, they're not, you know, if you look, you don't have eight legs, but <laughs> you melt some chocolate chips, stir them in with chow mein noodles, and you can either use little tiny red M&Ms, or I used Red Hots for these, and you get a whole bunch of spiders marching around the plate. Oh my gosh, I love that. I'm definitely making that one now. <laughs> we're going to actually make something right now. Uh, tell me about this. This is one that uh, I invented for my six-year-old. If you're not six, it's probably not quite your thing. No, but I like it, and I'm not six. Chocolate pudding. Uh -huh. Let's start with a little chocolate pudding. Okay. Okay, and, the and what do you call this? Cup. These I call wormy cups. Wormy cups. And you put a little chocolate pudding. Okay. And then take a little spoonful of your chocolate sandwich cookie dirt, which okay. just looks appallingly like dirt. I'll have you I'm going to give you a spoonful mine. in the middle. Top it back up again. More chocolate pudding. Then we're going to make our crowning touch, which is worms, which are lying in cocoa dirt. So if you take gummy worms. Okay. Yeah, spoon. Just use my fingers here. You might mind? want to. Okay. So get a worm out of the dirt, and then when you drape them on top, it really looks like a worm. And and I like to top it with just a little bit more dirt so that your worms are crawling out. Oh, how funny is and this? All right, a little dirt on the top. It's really fun because what I like is things is that great. you don't have to make too much effort, but you end up getting a lot of bang for your buck. You get a fair amount of creativity and you don't have to knock yourself out. Holidays must be a lot of fun in your house. <laughs> we try to make them that Thank way. Thank you so much for coming in. Thanks great to meet you. Me. Great ideas for the holidays. And for more great Halloween food ideas, you can pick up a copy of Sharon's book, Ghoulish Goodies. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon. I'm going to sample, okay? Not sure. I'm going to try this one.